Hi guys, today I'm talking about how to teach your ferrets to eat meat. Some ferrets are very, very stubborn, so it, it can be quite hard introducing a new food. Um, one thing that's really important is to, if you get a baby ferret, start tr feeding it meat straight away. Baby ferrets can pretty much eat meat from when they're four weeks old. Um, and that way they acquire the taste for meat and it's then you don't have to worry about trying to retrain them to eat meat again. So if you do have a younger ferret, then get it onto meat straight away so that you don't have to go through the hassle of teaching it to, uh, to eat meat when it's older. With the younger ferrets, when they're about four weeks old, it's really important to give them um, meat on the bone so that they can tear it apart themselves because they'll know what chunks they can swallow. If you rip the parts, if you rip the meat apart yourself, then you might rip chunks that are a little bit too big and could make them choke. There are a few different meats that you can feed your ferrets. One of them are mints. So I just get regular mints from the supermarket. And um, what, why regular and not premium? The regular has more fat in it, which is actually better for the ferrets. Um, which is really handy because it's better for your wallet as well. So you don't need to go all fancy with the mints. Um, you can just buy the regular stuff and it's actually better for them because of the high fat content, which is really important in a fer ferret's diet. So that's one of the things. Some other things include bath. So um, I just buy bath in a suit in one of the pet shops um, that I go to and this is the type of patty that it looks like and this is um, rabbit meat mixed in with a few other small things but it's pretty much mainly all um, raw meat and here is the bath that I buy. So I got this from Pet Barn. If anyone's in Australia and wants to have a look at it, it's in the um, fridge section. That you can feed them chicken necks, which are fantastic for their teeth, chicken wings, any kind of part of chicken, all raw, of course. Just make sure that it's nice and fresh. Um, and of course, the best things that you can feed them, as seen in the previous vi video, are the mice and rats and chickens chicks, whole chicks and um, rabbits and all those types of things because it has the organs, the bones, fur, everything that a ferret needs in order to be healthy and get its nutrients from. Obviously ferrets are built to eat meat. Um, their whole digestive system, starting from their mouths, you know, they have the sharp pointy teeth. The teeth are designed to rip apart meat. The whole digestive system is built to digest meat. They can't actually digest um, uh, vegetables and fruit like we can. So it's so basically meat is kind of like their staple food, just like fruit and veggies are our staple food and we can't really live without those vital nutrients. The same goes for ferrets. They can't live without meat and all the nutrients from meat, so they really need to have meat in their diet and it is absolutely essential. Some ferrets do get very fussy um, because they all they have been given is a ferret kibble. Sometimes it can be hard to teach older ferrets to eat meat, but it's not impossible and that is the key. <laughs> you can teach your ferrets to eat meat. It, number one, it will take a lot of patience. <laughs> For some ferrets, not all ferrets, but some ferrets do get quite stubborn. So one of the first things that you can try is to just try to offer the meat to them and see if they like it. So here's a little bit of mint. Let's see if Yuki likes it. I think that's a yet. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so my ferrets obviously are used to eating meat and do love it. <laughs> If your ferret doesn't like the taste of meat from the get-go, then there are a few things that you can do, so don't stress. So first things first, you want to get your ferret used to the flavor. So sometimes what you can do is maybe pour a little bit of blood over their kibble. So if you get a steak or a bit of minced meat or... 
in the bath after I defrost it there tends to be quite a bit of blood in there so you can just pour a little bit of blood over their kibble and see how they take to it sometimes they might ignore it and the key is when you're feeding when you're trying to train your ferrets to eat meat make sure that they are going in on a hungry stomach so get them out playing for two or three hours get them really tired and hungry and then try to feed them the raw meat or the kibble that tastes like raw meat because that is when they're most likely to try it. Another thing that you can do is try to mix a little bit of minced meat in with the kibble and mush the minced meat in with the kibble so that all the kibble absorbs the flavor of the meat. really get in there and just mush it all up very nicely so you can try giving giving the ferrets that type of mix take away all of the other food we're concentrating just on the meat so just feed them the meat um, and what you're trying to teach them to eat so only if you have any other bowls of food in their cage then take everything away and feed just that because then they will not have a choice between meat and the other food that they're used to and some people might say but i don't want to see my ferrets going hungry well it's a little bit of a tough love um we all know how important it is to feed our ferrets meat and if it means them going hungry for a little while for their greater good in the long run then it's probably worth letting them go a little bit hungry and if your ferret is healthy like mine are then going without some food for a little while is not going to hurt them so um, but if your ferret has any uh, problem sickness, then I'd probably consult your vet about it first. What I have done in the past to teach my ferrets to eat meat is um, get them out of the cage, play with them, have a massive mentally stimulating play session where they're going crazy and you're going crazy chasing after them so that they get really tired get all the energy out get super tired get super hungry and then um, I put them back in their cage take all the other food away just put in the meat um, and just leave the meat in there overnight and by the morning normally it is gone because they get so hungry and that's the only option they have to eat it obviously you you might want to do a few days of um, maybe mixing the meat in with the kibble beforehand so that they can get the taste and the flavor of what meat is and that it's actually okay to eat because if you do that me my method straight away then they might not know what to do with it they might not even recognize it as food so it's best to do a few days of just pre-mixing the food with some blood or some meat um, and then maybe throughout the day trying to take away the rest of the kibble and just giving them meat um, before you actually leave them without food apart from meat all night long <laughs> because they might just wake up starving not having to not having eaten any of their meat you just Basically what you need to do is experiment as much as possible. Um, do not give up, never give up, don't let in. This is for the greater good of your ferret. A little bit of tough love is a good thing is in this case. Um, and seeing your ferrets go hungry for a couple of hours is nothing comparing to them getting all the vital nutrients that they need in their diet for the rest of their life after going hungry for a little while. Some other things that you can do um, is if your ferrets won't eat raw meat straight away, then you can slowly cook, you can start off by giving them cooked meat and then slowly cooking the meat less and less. It goes from the really cooked to the raw spectrum where you're cooking the meat less and less each day until they're finally eating it raw. For some ferrets, it might take a day to start eating meat. Some ferrets might take a week, some it might take a month, and some it might take a year, which I highly doubt, but it could be the case. In any, in any case, just don't give up. 
keep persevering, trying to feed them meat. Do not give up on them. And they deserve to lead a high quality, healthy life. So try to feed them as much meat as possible. What I tend to do is when I'm feeding meat, I still take away the rest of their kibble and just feed them pure meat. Um, and that is so that none of the meat goes to waste and I want to make sure that all of them are getting meat on a regular basis as well. You need to find your own way of um, running your ferret household and feeding them the right things and just set out a routine that will benefit both you and your ferret. I hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll have plenty more videos to come in the upcoming weeks. Um, and we'll do some more on ferret diet as well, which would be great. Um, I'm not really sure what I'll do next week, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. <laughs> also visit the Ferret World Facebook page, um, the Ferret World Twitter page and Ferret World Pinterest page. And don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter to get the Ferret First Aid and Emergency Care book for free. Um, and that'll help you look after your ferret as well. So I'll look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>